I feel like my my life is music, like my life is a song now and, and I'm just living that song and uh, noticing just like a song has different melodies and different parts to it, uh, I've, I'm experiencing the flow of life that way, so it feels like my life is a song. So this is very natural for me to come to a conference, a, a festival, a celebration that that has all of that, and again, that's just the state of mind, that's the best I can say. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It does, it's like music just, yeah, just strikes that chord. It's fun to hear about singers who go on a stage and then don't perform mm. a piece of music, but that they literally channel it in the moment, and so that's spontaneous. It's it's never been heard before, so it can't be performed, and it's it's unless it's recorded, it, it oftentimes is just gone because it's not been captured in any way. Um, but there's the joy yeah. in the the being of it, you know. And that I think of Abraham Maslow talking about this pyramid of hierarchy of needs and as you approach the very tippy-top self-realization, which means and ends are one. So it's in the being of the, and the expressing is where the joy is found. It's not in seeing it as something towards something else in the future. Because that's still his linear time involved in it, and, and who we are doesn't have linear time involved in it. And the song of gratitude and the song of, of heaven the Father and Son sing eternally, has no time involved in it. So, that's a nice context to remember. That, and we've had that in, in our Strawberry Fields festivals, where it's you don't feel it's a performance, you feel totally merged with it and with everything, and that's where the joy and the gratitude is. You're not uh, doing it for anything in the future. There's no concern, there's no thought of the future.